you know, Buffalo's a team with a lot of firepower and uh, expected the game to go a little bit differently than the way it did, but, uh, you know, I mean, when the team jumps out to a 4 nothing lead, it makes it a little bit easier for me to play back there, so it was great. It was my first game, so uh, I was just trying to keep it as simple as possible and just stay in front of the puck as much as possible and uh, ended up working out. I mean, I remember the day, I remember not expecting to play and then, then telling me the, the morning of, uh, you know, it was at, at home in Staples Center against the uh, Buffalo Sabres, so I remember being a little nervous going in and kind of settling in because uh, our, our team scored eight goals, so I had a lot of support there, so not much pressure. I was able to just kind of play the game and enjoy the game and... Uh, um, you know, so it was fun to get the win on your first first game. First NHL win. Who are you gonna call after the game? Um, <laughs> uh, my parents, uh, my brothers, my sisters. You know, I want to say hi to them back home east, and uh, you know, I'll definitely give them a call as soon as I get out of the locker room. Yeah, I started the game with uh, Forsberg and Gagne. Uh, I think I lasted about two shifts, and then I was down to the fourth line, so it didn't go too well. <laughs> I don't really remember the shift. I remember the game. We were in Detroit, and it was 03, so. I remember warm up. I remember looking across, and they had Shanahan and Hall and Eiserman and Lindstrom, and like half their team was Hall of Famers now. So I remember sitting in warm up, watching them warm up. I don't remember my first NHL shift. I, I do remember a little story from my first NHL game. Uh, we were playing San Jose in San Jose, and uh, my best friend on the team was Wayne Simmons, and he walked out behind me, like going onto the ice. So we we're going out for either the second or third period, and I was like similar, like I. I haven't done anything, like I've just been going through the motions, it's like man don't try anything stupid, don't try anything stupid, so there I go out in the power play and try to make a play and turn over and they came back down and scored on us, so that's my first memory of the NHL. Yeah, my first NHL game didn't really go so hot, I think it was a home opener against Phoenix uh, a few years back, um, I remember I finished the game minus two, I was playing with, uh, with Greener and uh, those two were definitely both my fault, but uh, no, no, that's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. My first game was in Dallas, and uh, I remember uh, going out there in the warm-ups, and Mike Medano was on the other side, and obviously a guy I got to grow up, as, uh, watch grow up as a kid, and see his hair flow in warm-ups with uh, no helmet on, and uh, you know, that was a, one of the pretty, probably the coolest moment of, of uh, of the first game of my career, and I remember my line mates. It was me, Glenn Metropolitan, and Sean Thornton. It was a 4 1 loss to the Dallas Stars in uh, early October there, but uh, obviously you remember that uh, first one, and it, uh, it was a great experience. First game, I played with uh, Karts and, and Rick. Um, couldn't tell you the, the first shift. Um, I think it was against San Jose. Phoenix or San Jose? San Jose, I think. Um, don't know, I was, I was real nervous. I don't know how much I did or, or what I did in the game, but uh, it was fun, it was an incredible feeling. And playing with those two guys, they're, they're both unbelievable hockey players and, and great guys, and, and it was a ton of fun.